Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you a plan with me. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys what I have, how I use it, and what basically works best for me. Always keep in mind that what works for me may not necessarily work for you. There are tons of different ways to, you know, organize and stay organized. So if this method, which I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today, does not exactly work for you, don't be discouraged. I'm pretty sure there's a method out there that will be better suited for you, but this is just the way that I do things and how I stay organized. And like I said, it's best for me at the end of the day, but I did want to share it with all of you. So I like to think that I'm a pretty organized individual. I've been this way for as long as I can remember. Now this type of organization really helps me to stay on track. It helps me to follow through with the things that I promised myself I'm going to do and it allows me to hold myself accountable for the things I either want to do or really should get done. So it's just a good way to just keep on tasks, especially on a day-to-day -day basis. And sometimes, you know, we can get so consumed with life and we have so many different things going on that it's easy for us to forget. So simply writing it down somewhere where it's visible for you to see every single day it's less likely that you're gonna forget about it, right? I like to think of myself as more so an old school planner. I really love the process of just writing things down, whether that's in a notebook, an agenda, a planner, or just being able to visually see it on a dry erase board. Those are just the things that work for me. I'm very old school in that way. I know technology has evolved over the years and there are tons and tons of apps that you can use to stay organized and you know keep your life in order but I am definitely not that type of girl. I am, however, still trying to incorporate the technology aspect of organizing into my day-to-day -day routine little by little. It's a process, honestly, for me to like get the hang of it and really get used to like going into my phone for those specific things on a daily basis, but you know, take it one day at a time. I feel like the whiteboard works so well for me because realistically, it's the easiest and most visible. It's literally right on my desk, so I cannot miss it. So I know that whatever is written on there is gonna get done because I have no choice but to look at it. Whether I'm sitting down at my computer editing or just in my beauty room, just hanging out, which I come in here every single day. So it's definitely not hard to miss. Everything I'm showing you guys today is typically done once a month. Obviously, aside from the bullet journal and the YouTube planning and things like that, those things are done on a daily, but overall, I really do look forward to this time. I find it very, very therapeutic. Now, enough of me talking. I'm gonna go ahead and roll the clips of me planning my month and how I do it. I really hope you guys enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So this is my current setup right now. I pulled my desk out just so I can maximize on the space and I can watch TV if I wanted to. Here is my whiteboard. I did get this one from Target. I will link it down below as well as any others that I can find that are similar to this. But this is the one I have. I also have some Windex and paper towel here just to clean this off. And then in these little containers right here, this first one has some Expo markers. These are also from Target and they're just obviously to write on the whiteboard. And then underneath that I have some highlighters, some pens, and my ear pods just sitting there. Then if we move over here, I have like my notebooks and everything. So in this acrylic case, I have these marker pens. These are Papermate, and I also got these at Target. And then these ones right here, these I love so much. I got these off of Amazon, and they're really, really thin, and they're each a different color. I like to write really small, so I have those. And then I have two mechanical pencils for my bullet journal. I also have some sticky notes. Sometimes I like to just write something on a sticky note and just stick it in my planner or notebook, whatever. Then for planners, I have this one. This one's my planner for 2020. I believe I got this at Marshall's as well. And then these two notebooks, this first one, black one right here. This is a bullet journal, which I will be showing you guys later on in the video how I utilize this. And then I have this smaller one here. It's not a bullet journal, it's a regular notebook, but I just plan out Instagram content in this one. This one right here is for YouTube videos, um, if I'm planning them out step by step and all that. All my planning goes into here. 
Then I have some gel pens and I just love these just to color coordinate and just add it to the stuff that you know I put down in my notebooks and stuff. So I like to start with cleaning off my dry erase board from the month prior so that way I have a nice blank canvas to work with and as I explained in the beginning I just like to use Windex and some paper towel for this step and then I like to grab my planner and write down everything I can possibly think of for the month of May right off the top of my head at first. So this includes my bills, videos, trips, birthdays, all that stuff. Now some of these things will be used to transfer onto my dry erase board, but I like doing it here first because it makes it a smoother process for me when I finally do get to that step. So when it comes to my planner, I like to be as creative with it as I can. I do color coordinate, sometimes I use stickers or just do a little bit of drawing or doodling if you will. I do find that planning like this is very therapeutic for me and I really do enjoy it. Especially like being very creative in my own way, like it's something about that specific part that just brings me so much joy. The majority of things are put in this planner because some stuff can be pretty personal for me and I don't want to forget about it but I also don't want to display it for everyone to see so I just make sure I put it in my planner. Now I did not show you guys but my weekly section um, I did do that off camera but I basically just keep track of my growth for my social medias here on YouTube as well as my Instagram and other personal day-to-day -day notes so I just thought I'd mention that. So now I'm moving on to the whiteboard and I'm going to start with writing the month at the top. This part does take me the longest because I do like it to look aesthetically pleasing and I can oftentimes be a perfectionist and what can I say, I am definitely my worst critic. But I do that and then I move on to the notes section. This section is on the right side of the board and on that side part where it says notes I like to put a quote of some sort, specifically from Pinterest. I do have a whole board dedicated to monthly motivational quotes, so you can follow me on there if you'd like. But something relatable to the month or just inspiring that I can look at. At the bottom of that, I do like to write out three goals for the month I want to achieve and kind of like hold myself accountable for, such as lifestyle changes or personal aspirations. This month, I am focusing on my skin and my health, so majority of those goals that I am writing down are geared towards those things. But I did include making a trip because I really need one. I mean, who doesn't at this point? Even if it's somewhere secluded, your girl needs a trip. So that's also one of my goals for this month. Okay, so for the dates, I personally like to write them row by row while filling in what I want for each specific day, if that makes sense. To me, this is just a cleaner way of doing things. That way I'm not accidentally smudging or erasing something that was previously written with my hand. So I like to do it like that. And then I like to write the dates using black as well as my tasks and events and then birthdays, holidays, and uploads in the same color as the month. You can always color coordinate differently but this is just what works for me. So this month I'm using black of course and then I'm using blue kind of like as my month color. And finally we have the bullet journal. So when it comes to this I kind of shied away from the traditional method and just kind of do things in a way that suits me best. I feel like the original concept is great and all, but it just wasn't something I was able to fully commit myself to doing completely. So what I do is fairly simple to be honest. I basically just focus on the month spreads as well as the weekly spreads and just utilize those but don't do anything else. So what I have here is a pre-mapped out page for the month of May, uh, the first week of May I should say. And I'm just basically going over that with my black and blue pens because those are the two colors that I'm choosing for this week coming. But I just basically map it out in pencil first and then go over it with my markers and stuff and just make it all cute and creative. I do have the traditional like task, completed task, uh, scheduled, migrated, those kind of like key symbols uh, throughout the week because it just helps me keep track of the things that I'm doing or completing or the things that I need to move over to a different day or an appointment that I may have needed to schedule things like that so it is helpful in that way 
So basically it's just a weekly layout and day by day I go in here and I just write things that I need to get done for the next day, kind of like my to-do list, but all in my bullet journal. So really quickly, I just want to point out that at the bottom right hand corner of my weekly spreads, I do have like this little YouTube section and that's just to let me know what two videos should be going live that week. And if you don't know, I do post every Wednesday and Friday. So that's two videos a week, every single week. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss anything. But I do like to put that in my bullet journal as well so I can keep up with that. Alright you guys, so that basically was it. I really hope you guys found it helpful, informative, and inspirational. There is really no better feeling than being organized and well planned for the month, the year, whatever it is. It could even be for the week. Okay, there is no better feeling. So as I bring this video to a close, let me know what you guys thought down below. Also, while you're at it, leave a comment and let me know one of your goals for this month. I will try to link as much as I can down in the description box for you all. So do not forget to check that out. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure you click the little bell so you can be notified every single time I upload. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Me and Roxy, signing up.